Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the Gentry build. Um, to say that I'm fucking unhappy is an understatement. Uh, not because of the machine, um, but because of the uh, abuse really I got on my last video about the cleaning. Um, <clears throat> I'm absolutely staggered that such an innocuous video about cleaning car parts could get the backs up of some of the people who commented. Now, it wasn't just uh, comments that it wasn't very good, it was the way it was written. And I've had to delete three or four comments probably a bit more than that actually, because of the abuse, or not abuse, but the language, the way it was written, um, aimed at me, um, and I'm not going to tolerate it, there's no way, and if this had been a video about something, I don't know, Ukraine war or something, then, and I expressed my opinion, then I could perhaps understand it. It was all about cleaning car bits. Now come on people, get a life, okay? It's car bits, I'm just cleaning car bits. Yeah, I, I don't get it, I really don't get it. Um, and, and those people, you really should get a life mate. Um, because if you're gonna overreact like that, over me cleaning car stuff, there's something wrong with you, there really is. It was almost virgin on bullying. And I was shocked, absolutely shocked, at the um, comments which were coming through. I've left some on there um, which weren't particularly abusive as such, um, just expressing their opinions. Which is fine, I haven't got any problems with opinions. As long as they're constructive opinions, absolutely no problems at all. Um, that's the only way people like me learn, is by people advising or whatever. Um, but to become abusive and rude and arrogant um, over, excuse me, over a video, which is all about cleaning car bits is just crazy, absolutely crazy. And when I started reading some of these, I thought, you know what, I really can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered with doing these videos. Um, it's not just YouTube. Um, there's other platforms where it happens too. But when you read these comments, you think, what, why? What, what am I doing this for? I do it for me as a record of the progress of the car primarily, that's what it's for. It's not for you, it's for me. But I do share it on YouTube, I don't have to share it on YouTube, I can just keep them as videos on YouTube for me to go back on. But I share it because I hope that it will be of help to other people. Um, I don't want your opinion or whether you think this is better or that. that's better. This is my channel. This is my build and I do as I want. Now if you're not happy with that, fuck off. You know, I don't care. I, I couldn't care if I haven't got any subscribers whatsoever. What I do care about are the subscribers which I do have and I want to look after. And they are the genuine ones who appreciate what I do. I'm not interested in you coming on here, expressing your opinion and thinking you're the only right person. You're not. You know, there's more way to skin a cat than your way. Right, ran over, and if you want to bully me on this video, think again. Because the way to stand up to bullies is to fight back, and you've picked on the wrong kid in the playground to have a bully. Okay? Let's make that clear right now. Now, if we can get on, then we can enjoy ourselves. But doing what you did on the last video is not enjoyment. Not for me, and it's not enjoyment for my wife when she goes on and starts reading. 
So just take heed of what you're writing. It's very easy, isn't it? Just to tap away on the keyboard. Ah, oh, your shit, your blah. Oh, unbelievable. Right. I have changed the fluid, which it was in, the solution. I have changed the temperature. It's now up to 60 degrees rather than 40 degrees. And I've put them in for a half an hour rather than 15 minutes. And that has made a large difference. And that is the carburetor now. Okay, so for all you people who said, oh, I'm disappointed, I thought it was going to come out clean. Well, yes, so was I. Um, I knew the machine was going to be okay, but there were three other factors involved there, the temperature, the time, and the solution. But you guys didn't appreciate that. You, you didn't have the patience. You, you, you know, sometimes I think some people have got the brain of an amoeba. They haven't got the patience to let me finish and do another test or to let me clean something up after I've just taken it out of the basket. Oh, well, you need to add a bit. Why don't you add a... Give me a break, you know? Give me a chance. Anyway, I've now concluded what I think is the first batch. The second batch is already in, cleaning. Absolutely perfect. I'm so pleased with what I've got. Now, if you want to use washing machines or dishwashers or whatever fucking else you can think of, apart from that, go ahead. I don't care. You know, if that's your gig that you want to use something different, fine, go ahead. Ugh. Makes me so bloody angry, it really does. Right, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and calm down because that really got my go up. Um, and if I get comments like that again on this video, no big deal. I will just do the video and turn the comments off. Sod it. You know, the only problem with that, of course, it's for a very, very small minority of people who come in here and do that. Five or six people, I guess, in total, out of 2,400 views and I don't know how many comments, 60, 70. I get those few. It spoils it for the people who are the genuine subscribers who genuinely like the channel and the progress of the build. It spoils it for them. All because of five or six people. So the best I can do on the previous video was to just delete the comments and block the people. That's the best I can do. If I find this video going the same way, I will do the same. My next video will be all comments will be turned off. Simple as that. And I guess, <laughs> when I think about it, that is playing right into the hands of those knobheads who are now going to comment in an abusive way just so that I can turn the comments off and they've got their own way. You can't win. You really can't win. Okay. Bye for now folks, see you in the next video, bye. Okay, so this is the um, second attempt on the carburetors with the different solution which is that. And that's uh, for carburetor ultrasonic cleaning solution. Um, and uh, that also does grease, etc. What I've also added in as another test piece is the front pulley, which is covered in grease, grime, dust, shit, everything you can possibly think of. Um, as you can see there. So I'll see how that lot goes. Um, and this time, so I've got a different solution. I've now cranked it up to 60 degrees here and the actual temperature at the moment is 43 degrees so it's got to heat up, heat up a little bit more and I've put it on for half an hour rather than 15 minutes so I've dunked that in this solution and uh, leave it for half an hour 
and see how it goes. I've got to do that once that's heated up to 60 degrees. Okay, so I'll come back once the uh, half hour is up. Okay, so the temperature um, is 54 degrees now, so not quite 60, but it has done its first half hour cycle. I've just taken the basket out uh, just to inspect it, and that is a whole lot better. So obviously the temperature and the solution in the uh, water uh, makes a huge difference. And as you can see from this pulley, which was caked in grease, is reasonably clean. There's a little bit of grease on that edge there. You can see, I think it's grease anyway. Might even be paint actually, to be honest. I think it's paint, not grease. But that's a lot, lot cleaner. So it looks like the grease part is solved. But what I'm going to do, as I keep saying, as an experiment, take note of that word please, people, um, I'm going to dunk that in again once it reaches 60 degrees, um, which is still on 54 at the moment, um, and give it another half an hour and see how that goes. But it's looking good at the moment. I don't know about the lacquer. Let's have a look at this. Okay. That lacquer is off a bit more, but it wasn't meant to remove that, it was meant to remove the grease. Um, and so when that's done the next half an hour, I will then take that all out and give it a blast with some brake cleaner um, and see what happens. Oh, it's fogging up again. Okay, I'll speak to you later. As you can see the heater has now got up to 60 degrees and it's finished its second cycle of 30 minutes. So let's have a look. Um, as I took the tray out of the basket, um, I just oh, it's fogged up again. Um, I just brought it up and down a few times just to agitate it a bit, just to get any muck off. And I have to say that this time it seems to have worked. There's virtually nothing on that now. Pretty clean. Nothing on the throttle linkage, the choke mechanism. That's completely degreased. The front pulley. That's just paint on there, all paint, all that grease at the back is gone, so that seems to have cured the trick. on that at all. So what I will do, <coughs> because that's quite hot above that water there, um, I will just let that air dry for a couple of minutes and, uh, and then I'll get some brake cleaner um, and just go over the whole lot just to get rid of any other little bits which are left um, and then I can store it away until I'm ready for it. I've now got my second batch of stuff ready, so I've got the sump in there with the front seal plate, oil pump, rear bearing seal. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just getting the seal out of that front cover, timing chain cover, um, and along with the uh, the gears, the sprockets bolts etc. I should dunk all that in at one hit and see how that goes. Luckily 
that is big enough to take the sump I think I'm sure it is um, so we'll see how that goes okay see you in a minute okay so uh, I've taken it all these components out of the basket and I've just gone over them with uh, this which is uh, Wins brake and clutch cleaner uh, which is the one which I normally tend to use um, and uh, yeah I, in my opinion um, and really that's the only opinion which counts um, then I'm happy with this uh, I can't see any grease on this whatsoever um, I will still be taking this all apart and uh, overhauling the bits and cleaning them more thoroughly but for now for a, an initial clean then I'm happy the bit which I was also interested in was this which was the front um, pulley that has come up particularly well because it was a, a lot of grease on that and that's all now gone there's a bit of rust bit of old paint but that's it no grease so it seems like I've now solved the solution and um, I'm now ready to uh, put in the next set which is the sump and the front cover. Um, I may show you that afterwards, I may not. Um, I'm not in the mood to be honest with you. Um, so if I show you, I show you. If I don't, I don't. Alright, so bye for now.